PNC Maverick with Craig Pretzinger. Fuel for your mind and agency in under five minutes. Ahoy, insurance anglers. Today, we're learning the art of stirring up waters without capsizing the boat. Grab your metaphorical fishing rods. Welcome back, risk wranglers. It's Craig Pretzinger, and we're diving deep into Law 39, stir up waters to catch fish. Or as I like to call it, the art of productive chaos. Picture this, peaceful Polly's insurance emporium. Sounds nice, right? Well, Polly's office was so peaceful you could hear the dust settling on her policy binders. Business was steady, but about as exciting as watching paint dry. Enter Disruptor Dan, Polly's new partner. Dan took one look at the sleepy office and decided it was time to make some waves. But here's the kicker. Dan wasn't just creating chaos for chaos sake. Oh no, he had a plan. Dan started by stirring up a little controversy. He put up a sign that read, if you're not worried, you're not covered. Suddenly people were talking. Some were outraged, some were intrigued, but everyone was paying attention. Next, he launched a social media campaign asking people to share their wildest, I wish I'd been insured stories. The responses ranged from hilarious to horrifying, and the campaign went viral. Finally, he organized a town hall debate on the future of risk. Insurance geeks, tech gurus, and even a few conspiracy theorists showed up. It was loud, it was messy, and it was exactly what Dan wanted. The result? Peaceful Polly's was now the talk of the town. Policy reviews skyrocketed. New clients poured in, and even the local news did a feature on the insurance agency shaking things up. This, my friends, is the power of stirring up waters in the insurance world. It's not about creating problems. We've got enough of those already. It's about creating engagement, sparking conversations, and yes, catching some fish in the process. So how can we apply this law without turning our nice, orderly insurance world into total chaos? I'm glad you asked. One. The controversial content creator, start a blog or podcast that tackles taboo insurance topics. What happens if your house is destroyed by a UFO? Are you covered for a zombie apocalypse? Ridiculous? Maybe. Attention grabbing? Absolutely. The devil's advocate agent. In your next team meeting, challenge a long held assumption. What if we offer discounts for clients who don't make claims instead of penalizing those who do? Watch the ideas start flowing. Two, the scenario. Stir, uh, create outlandish risk scenarios for your clients to consider. What would happen to your business if all technology suddenly stopped working? It's not about scaring them. It's about getting them to think differently about risk. Three, the trend troublemaker identify an emerging trend and extrapolate it to its extreme. If self-driving cars become the norm, how will it change auto insurance? Suddenly, you're not just selling policies, you're leading a discussion about the future for the community agitator in a good way. Organize debates, workshops, or even insurance-themed escape rooms. Get people engaged with insurance in ways they never expected. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Craig, this sounds risky. What if we stir up too much and it backfires? Valid concern, cautious questioner, here's the deal. The key is to stir, not shake. You want to create ripples, not tsunamis. Let me tell you about Timid Tim. Tim saw what Disruptor Dan was doing and decided to give it a try. But instead of stirring the waters thoughtfully, Tim cannonballed right in. He posted controversial opinions without context, picked fights with competitors, and generally made a splash. But not in a good way. The lesson? Stir with purpose. Every wave you create should have a clear intention behind it. So, here's your mission. Should you choose to accept it? Identify one area of your insurance business that's been a little too calm lately. Maybe it's client engagement, team morale, or community outreach. Now think of one way you could stir those waters respectfully, purposefully, and with a clear goal in mind. Remember, in the vast ocean of insurance, sometimes you need to make a few waves to catch the big fish, but always make sure you've got a life jacket handy. Metaphorically speaking, of course, now go forth and stir, you brilliant troublemakers. Just remember, if anyone asks, you're not making waves, you're initiating dynamic market engagement strategies. Sounds fancier that way. Hey there, want to hear more? Join me with my co-host buddy, Jason Feltman at the Insurance Dudes podcast or the Insurance Dudes website over at dum.theidudes.com. Please, if you liked what you heard, click subscribe and you'll get the newest episode each time.